Hello everybody, this is Ghost Shadow. Hello! And today I got another review. It's the Saber Forge ASP or ASP Adaptive Saber Parts. Saber. Um, this one I designed. It's got the number 10 emitter, the juggernaut switch, uh, reliant body with uh, the cobalt uh, stingray ramp and the exile uh, emitter and i did it all in black i got a black metal key key kill uh kill key and cover tech knob and the funniest thing was when i designed it it did not show me on the uh juggernaut the little choke type section here so when i got it in I was kind of pleasantly surprised because it's kind of nice to have that little choke section in there. And I actually have this in the frost color uh, LED. So, this little choke section, I kind of wanted something. So, I took this, the turquoise uh, leather uh, stripping or stripe or wrap, whatever you want to call it. Took it off of my resilient and I put it on here. And then I found this... Uh, these kind of clear blue beads so I'll put them on this uh, this part it's uh, I pulled it off the it's kind of got a curved section in here that's why I like this emitter it's got a little curved section in here it's got the curve right in here and with the juggernaut it has a curve so they kind of flow together with this this and even a little dip in there the little curved section here and even on the epic or epoch it's got the little round curves so I threw that in there and since I also went with the uh, frost color I decided I wanted a blue wrap I didn't want a light blue or anything so I like the uh, cobalt stingray so I went with that and this has got the veteran tier in it so it's got the viridian crimson and gunmetal I won't go over all of them but it's set for a uh, crimson because well, in my last video I, I had the uh, veteran in it and like I said I ordered another one I made a design on their ASP and ordered that I think it was the end of July yeah it was the end of July so I won't get that anytime soon which is fine but I like going on Saber Forge's websites uh, I like I like looking at their designs. They got a lot of really nice designs, but I like coming up with my own designs. And I have several that way. I think the last video I did my uh, my version of a scrap flex with the weathering, weathering different parts, and they had different weathering. Each part was kind of different, which is kind of neat. But I like how this, I like how I designed this because I think it kind of flows well with the designs. With the, oops, like again right here. And on the emitter and I even took uh, out the uh, retention screw and I have this one it's a thumb screw black thumb screw from uh, the custom saber shop so I put that in there I thought it kind of fit in really nice too especially when you got this metal kill key in there and I can loosen this up and we can go ahead and look at the uh, frost color the frost color is mostly white this is quad Cree so it's like what three white and one blue or light blue and here's the little plate plug plus I also like the little tiny windows to go around there and I wanted something different because most of the time I either just get the brush silver uh, with a little bit of black in it or I get the weathering this one, I just wanted to go all black, and I thought it turned out really well. Saber Forge Crimson. It's got the little white. Uh, oh, illuminated switch. Almost forgot what it's called. I know it's coming up mostly white. It's kind of hard to see the little blue part in there for the frost color, but it is a nice color. I 
want it to be like in a storyline where uh, the Jedi here and uh, didn't have a crystal but was taking on a Sith and managed to get the crystal from his saber and purge it and then be able to create his own lightsaber. Just to lock it. There's the power off. But this one was different from the Scrap Flex. Scrap Flex, I wanted it to look like it was made from different parts. And luckily enough, from the way that it was weathered, and you can check out that review, but the emitter was like a black, and the switch was blue. And it had a little bit of black in it and the body was a greenish blue type gray and then the rest of it was kind of black into silver it was kind of neat looking and this one i kind of i like it this way i like doing the black and i like how i designed it this seems like it kind of flows together really well but i wanted this one to be where the person constructed it had something in mind it was a cohesive, it was a cohesive uh, lightsaber build that he wanted. Not just trying to find random parts, but actually put really thought into it. After he had gotten that crystal and purged it, and then with the scrap flex, it was like, okay, this person's on the run. Managed to have a crystal. He's on the run, trying to find parts and managed to piece it together. And I kind of liked how the weathering turned out on that one because it did, did seem like it's made from different parts. And I like this one because it does, I put, I put thought into it. Well, I put thought into all of them, but for story-wise, they all, but they both fit. <laughs> and right now it seems like I'm rambling on. But I might do a re- uh, thing i might do a re-look at the resilient because i took this off the resilient and i put uh as you can see back there i have a brown leather wrap strips like this uh and i put that on the resilient and i think this fits better for here with the uh frost and with the clear beads with the little groove section i think that kind of looks kind of neat putting those on there back there I think it makes a I think it makes a nice little whoops Boop. I think it makes a nice little I think it adds to it it's like customization whoops look at my other thing it's like customization without actually really having to really do something to the uh, lightsaber itself I just added to it well I hope you all enjoy this and enjoy my rambling on about this and find my, my last review uh, but stay tuned I've got something really cool to show you in the next one it's from Blue Force Sabres double thumbs up on that one and so have a nice day and thank you all for watching bye bye